what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to talk about screen five again and what you see on your screen here is the official logo for the woodsboro horror film club the woodsboro horror film club is one of the marketing tactics a part of the upcoming screen five film from paramount pictures radio silence spyglass media they announced this earlier this week on monday i believe and in the bottom left you can see like a new little logo for the upcoming screen film also this emblem does kind of have a hidden zip code that kind of plays into something else that came out today they were kind of teasing this with this information that came out on monday because they made a very exciting announcement for a lot of fans to get excited about earlier today but this was announced again on monday here you see from screen movies welcome to the Ho woodsboro horror film club we've got some exciting stuff coming your way so get ready to scream till your throat sore so you can go ahead and join that face Facebook group on Facebook to stay connected with any and all Scream fans. I feel like the group has blown up. That's the fastest I've seen a group blown up. The fans of Scream are dedicated. That that group is going to be a big deal. It's a public page. I actually leave a link to it in the description so you guys can join it and just talk Scream with other Scream fans. The Scream Movies page is, of course, the admin. But the announcement that came out today has to do with this man that you see on your screen, David Arquette, Dewey Riley. They made an announcement about a partnership or just something they have going on with Airbnb to, again, part of the marketing to honor the 25th anniversary of Scream coming up and also, of course, build hype around the upcoming fifth entry in the franchise. You see this image of Dewey was released earlier today, along with some other images. He does look very battered, I'll say. Looks very rugged. Gives me hope for a different side of Dewey we'll get to see explored in the upcoming film. Here's some other images from him. But with the official Airbnb announcement, they had this to say as a local sh this is in dewey's perspective as a local sheriff it's my duty to be your host to keep everything under control for your stay at the scream house Stu Mocker's house what could possibly go wrong in honor of scream's 25th anniversary and the upcoming 2022 film face your fears and stay the night where ghost face terror began bookings open at 1 p.m eastern on tuesday october 12th for three days for three stays on october 27th october 29th and october 31st so yes if you are wanting to participate in this you'll get to stay in the mocker house where we know the final act of the original scream movie occurred where most of the bloodshed happened at the very end before we find out who the killers were Stu being one of them and they are going to have a lot of goodies and other details or I guess memorabilia for fans that attend this to collect you'll get a virtual greeting at the check-in of course from David Arquette you'll get some cool 90s snack favors like Jiffy Pop ice cream the one thing I want to focus on though was the fact that they are going to have like a big marathon of all four movies on VHS but the last statement there says the chance to take home unique screen memorabilia including a DVD bundle of the first four screen films Woodsboro high school gear scream 2022 posters and more so already off the bat knowing the dates of when this is going to happen if they're going to allow them to be able to take home scream 22 posters 2022 posters my guess is that during the week of october 10th october 15th with halloween kills we know halloween kills will be coming out that week we know we'll have those 25th anniversary two night screening fathom events for october 10th and 11th my guess is along with the trailer teaser that many of us are anticipating we'll get that week to play alongside halloween kills when it releases later that same week in theaters we'll also get to see the first official poster for the movie that's not something i expect to be shown at fathom events i expect that just to be shown in the press release that comes out along with the official teaser or trailer that comes out later in that same week to the general public for all of us to enjoy together and not just at a fathom event so we have a lot of exciting things to look forward to the marketing has begun they are going to be i guess taking this all in throughout the halloween season throughout the holiday season with thanksgiving christmas of course leading us all the way into january when we finally are sitting down in a theater with hopefully a big audience of people who are diehard screen fans like i know a lot of you are who listen to me uh and we'll get to be enjoying one of the best screen films to ever exist not to say that the other ones are trash of course but something about this movie just has me very confident that they are about to put on something that will have all of us reconsidering how we rank the current slate of films so i'm very excited for the movie i am glad that they have started the marketing again going back to that whole chance of you getting to stay at the mocker house i know that'll be exciting for those of you who have always wanted to do that if you decide to participate in it i'll leave a link to all of this stuff in the description i'll have a link to the facebook group i'll have a link to the airbnb link where they are now where they have some other details of course that they had expressed in that 
one image I had up on the screen, you can always go back and rewind it and pause if you want to see the other details of things that you had to look forward to if you decide to participate in that Airbnb event. Uh, as far as like that image of David Arquette, I guess I'll address that too. That's not like an official steal of him from screen five because remember, that house is the actual mocker house from the original film. They didn't use the original mocker house as far as I know in this upcoming film remember they rebuilt the house and we saw that from the first image that kind of came out from the set of the movie they rebuilt it we saw it with the image of kevin courtney and nev celebrating i guess the wrapping of filming when he had officially announced what the name of the movie would be so that that image of david arquette that's not like actually from screen five now what he's wearing could be him wearing the attire that he possibly could be wearing for dewey in screen five but who knows we'll 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 see eventually when the trailer comes out the other thing that i will just comment on will be going back to dewey and his fate now with this marketing that they're using david arquette for i feel like this is just going to be another way for them to get not not us but the general public people who are fans of the franchise but they're not digging into every little bit of details like we are or trying to speculate on every little bit of details like some of us do and like to do uh i feel like they're using him kind of in like a not on the same level as drew barrymore but the more they use him in marketing the more i'll be convinced that he is going to be biting the dust very early on in screen five and that he will indeed be the one thing that gets sydney back to woodsboro his death dewey's death so let's see how much they use this character of dewey in the marketing because the more they use him in the marketing the more i'll be convinced that you know what you're gonna kill this guy <laughs> that's just me but i know a lot of you guys want dewey to live I know a lot of you guys, like myself, don't see any other real passionate, uh, very highly motivated way for Sydney to return to town. Something about Dewey just dying seems like it would be a very fitting reason for Sydney to return. Anything else feels like a cop out to me anyway. But let me know what you guys think about all of this exciting stuff you have to look forward to down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.